Today in this video we will learn descriptive statistics in detail. Hope this video will make your concepts clear. Let's begin the video. Descriptive statistics is a type of data analysis to help display or summarize the data in a meaningful way to make the data insightful for the user. The main goal of descriptive is to describe the characteristics of the data. Descriptive statistics are used to manage data so that it has deeper information. The task of a researcher is to make that confidential information appear and be known to as many people as possible. The purposes of descriptive statistics are 1. Collecting With descriptive statistics, the data collection process will run neater, easier, and faster. 2. Organizing Descriptive statistics make data management more neat, easy to process, and easy to understand. 3. Summarizing Descriptive statistics produce important information related to data characteristics that can be used in analyzing an event or phenomenon. 4. Presenting Descriptive statistics make data appear in a format that is easier to understand and interesting. You can use media such as tables, graphics, infographics, etc. so that the data you use can be understood quickly by the reader. Example Let's take the example of study on gender towards blood pressure in a hospital. The variable only blood pressure and gender is control variable. We may increase the number of variables such as age or lifestyle. In political study, gender, age range, educational level to be important variable and choosing a candidate for a leader in the election. Descriptive statistics does not merely involve only one variable. Two or more variables are possible. Essentially, the conclusions only cover the sample size. There are two ways to summarize data. 1. Measure of central tendency 2. Measure of spread In this video we will briefly describe descriptive statistics and its types with examples. Make sure to watch the video till the end to learn way more easier and faster. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Let's get to the video. Measure of Central Tendency The central tendency is stated as the statistical measure that represents the single value of the entire distribution or a data set. It aims to provide an accurate description of the entire data in the distribution. This measure is an important way to summarize the data set with one representative value. 
This measure provides a rough picture of where data points are centered. The commonly used measures of central tendency are mean, median, mode. Let's discuss each tendencies in detail. Mean. Average value is termed as the mean of the data set. It is very easy to calculate the mean. The calculation of the mean incorporates all values in the data. If you change any value, the mean changes. However, the mean doesn't always locate the center of the data accurately. Steps to calculate mean. Step 1. Count the number of data values. Let it be n. Step 2. Add all the data values. Let the sum be s. Step 3. Mean equals sum of all data values. s slash total number of data values n. Example. Five students say, B, C, D, E appeared in a test and scored 80, 95, 90, 85, and 100 marks respectively. Find the mean? Here is the solution. Total number of students equals 5. Sum of marks equals 80 plus 95 plus 90 plus 85 plus 100 equals 450. Mean equals sum of marks slash total number of students. 450 fifths equals 90 marks. Median. The median is the middle value. It is the value that splits the data set in half, making it a natural measure of central tendency. To find the median, Order your data from smallest to largest, and then find the data point that has an equal number of values above it and below it. The method for locating the median varies slightly depending on whether your dataset has an even or odd number of values. Steps to calculate median Step 1. The data set is arranged in either increasing or decreasing order. Step 2. If the data set has an odd number of data values, n equals odd, then the middlemost value of the sorted data set is computed as the median. In other words, the data at n plus 1 slash 2 places the median of the data set. Step 3. If the data set has an even number of data values, n equals even, the average of two middle values is computed as the median, i.e. mean of n slash 2 and n slash 2 plus 1 th is the median of the data set. Formulas Median of data set with odd number of values equals n plus 1 slash 2 th term. Median of data set with even number of values equals n slash 2 th term plus n slash 2 
plus 1 th term slash 2. Where n is the total number of values in given data set. Example 1. Consider the ages of 5 employees as 30, 30, 32, 38, 60 years. Calculate the median. Solution. Arrange the data in ascending order. 30, 30, 32, 38, 60. The middlemost value is 32. So, median equals 32 years. Example 2. The ages of the members of a community center have been listed below. 42, 38, 29, 37, 40, 33, 41. Calculate median. Solution. To find the median of the given set. Given. Set of ages for different members. 42, 38, 29, 37, 40, 33, 41. Arranging the set in ascending order. 29, 33, 37, 38, 40, 41, 42. Number of observations, n equals 7, odd. Using median formula. Median equals 7 plus 1 slash 2 th term equals 4th term equals 38 mode value or a number that appears most frequently in a data set is a mode in cases where we need to find the most occurred value we find the mode veil for the set of given data. For data without any repeating values, there is no mode at all. The mode value depends on the given data set. Steps to calculate mode. Step 1. Use tally marks to identify how many times each data value occurs in the data set. Step 2. The data value with maximum tally is the mode of the data set. Example. Consider the weight, in kg, of 5 children as 36. 40, 32, 36, 30. Compute the mode. Solution. 36 kilograms occurs most number of times, so mode equals 36 kilograms. Thanks for watching. If you like the video please make a hit on subscribe button and turn on notification bell. Like and share this video. Thanks.